It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks! It sucks! It sucks! Dude, what the... Wait a second. 69 is my lucky number. <laughs> Legendary card right number 69. <laughs> I told you 69 is my lucky number. <laughs>okay, so hey guys, it's your boy. We're back with more Marvel Future Bite content. Let's drive right into it and let's build Luke Cage Hero for Hire. And as you guys saw, 69, well, yes, it could be my lucky number. I'm not sure. <laughs> but surely we are going to be building Luke Cage, Luke Cage in this video. Of course, I will be showing you some timeline battle gameplay with the obelisk that I had on Luke Cage without actually any maxed out build. Then, of course, we are going to be jumping and giving Luke Cage a regen as well. I was not expecting and even for actually myself, I was not thinking that I would actually do Luke Cage, but I don't know what got into my mind that I could not control myself and I just went, okay, damn, the uniform sale was ending in like three hours and I was like, I'm going to get the uniform, okay, right now. And uh, well, basically the only reason, only the, the only big reason why I thought of doing that was actually the region that I showed you in the post on YouTube that I got from the event uh, chest, right? That's how I got to that. Of course, let's go. Awakened uh, Luke Cage right there. I am going to be out of my awakening materials very, very soon. Not enough, but yes. Doesn't matter, we got, we got Luke Cage. One more PvP tune for me. I don't really usually do that that often, but he's just amazing, man. Plus, I don't have a Hulk, and he actually is better than Hulk, so it was the best option I could give him. So, okay, we got 7, 13. Let's see if we don't get shafted on this one. 20, other than 20, 5, pretty nice, and then 7. So, I am satisfied with this gear. Not really bad. The 20 roll was a bit bad, uh, but that's okay. Let's go for the second one. See if the luck continues. Four. Oh, that was four. Yeah, four. Then nine. Then we got 13. Okay. Uh, 22. Oh, please. 16. Well, worse than the other one. Okay. <laughs> Two done. Two to go. Okay, third gear. Third gear. Five. Okay, nice. Five. Seven. Good start. Good start. 21 okay 17 less than 20 23 okay uh come on give me <laughs> give me a break okay the last one seven then we got four nice 13 okay okay 19 under 20 please 23 never it never happens. Anyways, we, we got Luke Cage, okay. So as I was saying, it was only because uh, I got region from the chest. That's why I thought I would just go. And we can transcend him as well. But uh, we got this skill. Can we just get this? And look at the HP. We get a lot of HP. So what? Okay, we need to get the uh, Awakening skill to uh, level 6 as well. Let's just max it out. I'm almost out on my Awakening crystals now. Let's get this done. And transcend potential for Luke Cage. Right here, we got one more PvP beast for us, better than Hulk. So, I'm not really sure, and I was actually thinking maybe Mephisto could be the choice that uh, I had to make maybe later on, later to three if he replaces uh, Luke Cage, because Mephisto already being a Blast character could be that, okay. And let's just finish this uniform, I had this at Heroic, so I'm gonna be taking at, uh, it at uh, Legendary, and then, okay, can we use this? Okay, enough. Sorry about that. So let's take it to legendary and I only have two uniform options for this uniform, sadly. Uh, but still, I guess it does not really matter that much. It might, uh, when I go for comparative, totally like Alliance Tournament or something like that. Or maybe when I am doing that Alliance Conquest as well, properly, then maybe it would matter. It does matter always, the HP and stuff. But we got it to Mythic and of course these, uh, I only have the two uniform options, Dodge. And of course the movement speed, I changed that movement speed to Dodge as well later on. Which I did not show in this clip right now. But uh, this is how it looks like right now and not really the crazy build. And the obelisk that he is running right now is actually this one with these stats. So we have the lightning damage, recovery rate and invincibility obelisk. So... 
I have a lot to go. I'll probably do that later. But let me just show you two of those clips, two of those clips that I had with this obelisk in Tamland battle. So let's go for this one. And if you want to see the stats or the player's name, what it was actually, because these two runs are going to be from the Tamil battle itself. So if you want to check that, of course, you can check out the yesterday's Twitch stream. And the link for Twitch will be in the description of this video. Anyhow, uh, I'm just using the Molecule Man and uh, uh, the Colossus team up. And of course, Colossus is going to die very soon right there. And then there is a Luke. Let's see if he does any good uh, with this uh, with this uh, uh, sentry. Because this sentry is actually uh, is a force sentry. Which, uh, like, it was really good that we just killed that sentry. Okay, that was a reforce sentry. And it's an obelisk. It does not even have guard break immunity. And the beautiful thing about Luke that I found in these runs actually that he's actually prioritizing the third skill, which is the immunity skill and the damage accumulation, as well as the fifth skill, which has the invincibility. So I think he might die here. He might not. I'm not really sure. He's not the perfect character, but he surely can take out a lot of these meta characters easily, even though they are energy. Well, yes, sentry. But I guess I'm not really sure if he kills the sentry right now or on this one. Or I think he dies. He dies. He dies. He dies. And he dies, maybe. Okay. Yes, he dies. No worries. Now the runs that I'm going to be showing in the uh, stats. Let me just show you with the regen. Okay. 74 dodge. And we got the stats up a little bit more. We gave him the physical attack, Uru's HP and dodge Uru's along with that. I still need to have all of those slots amplified. Ignore defense still roll for that one. Power, uh, binary power maxed out with a CDP of regen. Beautiful that I got. Really good pull, man. I'm really about, happy about that. Mythic Uniform with, of course, rolled dodge on both of them. This is how it looks. And for the cards that I was running, also, I have 18.4 only HP. It's a very, very low HP Luke Cage. So it can be way better than I'm actually performing, okay? So you can perform way better. And these runs that I'm going to be showing you are going to be with this region. And yes, he will lose as well. He will win as well, but all of those are going to be with his own leadership. Jessica Jones will give 95% less... 95% damage reduction when below 35% HP to the defenders, which is a beautiful passive. And attack as well, of course, from the passive. Plus Colossus, which gives us 50% more damaging decrease from all of the characters. So, really good uh, team up for Luke Cage. I'm gonna go totally OP. Not even touching the uh, screen, not even touching the skills. And he just popped the 6 skill and there goes the gene down. Now, I did uh, saw a few things about Luke Cage while I was running this region. Of course, while I was running the Obelisk as well, I know it's just, I think what, uh, it was a, uh, it was a destruction gene. But still, uh, I thought and I uh, saw that Blast Gene is actually giving a, a Luke Cage a really hard time. I think that's natural because uh, Blast Gene was the one that could help maybe killing Hulk. Okay, she might not have the enough damage to kill Hulk if the Hulk has reforced region and a lot of HP and a crazy build card set as well. So it depends on the builds and stuff as well. But Blast Gene has always been there and uh, these type... Uh, Type advantage characters always have the niche to the other characters, of course, countering them or maybe helping countering them. Silver Surfer also uh, is one of the most uh, uh, noticeable threats for Luke Cage. The only reason why I would say that, and he said, yes. So the only reason and uh, I think why Silver Surfer is not even the third skill actually, it's the Reflect. Because Luke Cage's fifth skill has ignore uh, ignore iframe it is iframe for a short duration of time very short iframe then it's not an iframe and which is why he also takes the damage from the reflect plus the third skill also killing it so it makes harder for luke cage a lot although it i was surprised seeing that i even fought a lot of reforged region sentries with my normal region luke cage even with 18.4 percent hp as well uh, so no dense blessing of course so even even with that, uh, he was able to fight alongside and fight face to face of these sentries being the energy character as well. Uh, I think that's surprising. That's amazing. And after it, when he had popped at least once the six kill, the, his damage goes off the charts, charts. Definitely. And I think he's going to kill off this surfer as well right there. Right there. I'm not sure if he's going to win this or not. I think he loses here. 
maybe because of the awakened skill i guess uh, i think uh, right there so yeah reflect kills it reflect kills it so reflect is the thing that uh, could be the most uh, annoying thing that you could have with your luke cage although i would say this even if you are building your luke cage with a uh, with a guard break immunity and recovery rate or uh, invincibility or maybe even without the guard break if you don't have it of course why would you if you don't want to give it so he will perform amazing okay and even with the invincibility obelisk he can take out a lot of the meta uh, teams and i am excited i am really pumped to test him out and check him out in ac as well so well unfortunately i i did not uh, awaken him and i did not transcend him before the ac end in the top 100 in the challenger league although i would be testing out uh, testing him out in the normal and the other acs as well later on i'll probably if you guys want to see those clips from the alliance conquest with luke cage uh, and testing out with different team i'll record every single of my attacks that i will do with my luke cage in that ac so if you guys want to see that definitely comment down below if you do want to see those clips plus one more thing guys uh, about the crystal coupon giveaway i'm not sure if this is the right time to talk about that or not they uh, well the devs are actually or i should say the star creator member manager whoever uh, he is they are actually making some changes to the coupon so we did receive the monthly crystals but we have not received the crystal coupons yet and they said that the coupons will be available for you guys soon and more players will get benefited from the coupons i am not sure what exactly this, does that suppose to mean and i'm not really sure if that's the uh that's actually the right time to talk about that so if you do want to uh have that highlighted in a video particularly let me know in the comment section as well i can make up a uh, different separate video for that uh, explain that anyways coming back to luke cage blast genie still the niche and i still think that she is the counter she's really good even the even the uh even the uh universal gene also gives uh, luke cage hard time as but he's amazing crazy tune third regen goes to my luke cage i'm not sad bad at all he kills hulk just like that let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about luke cage he's amazing is a monster and more ac gameplay featuring luke cage will be shown soon and as always if you like the content i hope to see you again take care see ya